See Gentsy back at it again and, and you saw it. You saw the drone shots. <laughs> you saw the trees. Guess what? Smell that. You can smell it through the screen. I am Undeo. I am in my favorite place to be. Though, though oddly, I'm not wearing my usual Undeo, Undeo wear. To be honest, I, I forgot I was <laughs> gonna be out in the woodlands. <laughs> but in any case, I'm comfortable and I'm enjoying what I'm doing and what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing right now because we're, we're if you're gonna triangulate where we are, we are St. Mark is to the, to the north of us. Di Cameroon is to the south of us. This area specifically is called Pierre Payen. Right, and I can tell you this area is uh, it's it's just to be here alone for no reason is fine, but we're here for something extraordinary, something special. It's littered all right behind me. These small little sticks, <laughs> they're kind of like sticks, right? Are are going to be massive, huge trees in about uh, let's say another 13, 15 years or so. These are going to be massive trees. They're gonna be worth lots. And I, but, I'm not, but I'm not just here just to show off trees. I'm here to show off an idea, something that's gonna revolutionize a lot of the way you folks, because I know a lot of diaspora, you know, I, so often I get DMs that say, hey, see Jancy, hey, I have so many acres of land, I don't know what to do with it, right? I don't know, I don't have the money to do it, I don't, I, who can I work with, I, I don't, I'm gonna give you an idea of what you can do with this land here and it takes a couple acres, right? And I know that the, the diaspora have land that's in the acres, right? And you can do something just like this, but I'm not gonna give you the details just yet. I want to walk around a little bit, show you this property first so you can really appreciate it. And then we'll bring in the owner of the property and he'll break down this, this, this concept that is really, I'm gonna say it again, it's, it's revolutionary. And it's something that you guys can do with just a few hundred, just a few thousand bucks, right, per year. You got a spare thousand, two thousand dollars that you really want to invest in and do something that's gonna be long term and help your country. Stay tuned. Don't change it. All right? Let's walk around. here on the wall of, of, of really the, the separator between the dam that he was building up really to, to act as a, a water source for really the many, many acres of land that's here. And then right in front of me, there's this valley, valley of palm trees, what, what ultimately uh, will become coconut trees and uh, a mix of uh, lemon trees and aguave trees on the front of me here. It's really, really a beautiful scene. And again, it just inspires the heck out of me to say, you know what? I know a couple friends with, with some land that's, that they just complain about. We could be do something just like this. Why not, right? What we're looking at here is one of the trees. This is six years old solid as a rock, let me tell you. And again, what's so nice about this tree is it doesn't, it doesn't take much water. You, you plant it right before rainy season uh, and, and you're good to go. You do occasional maintenance on the tree and, and from there, you cash in in a, in a couple years, which is, which is absolutely incredible, right? And this whole field that we're in right now, this whole field, a growing field, is this mahogany wood and as you know anything about mahogany it produces exceptionally nice products expensive products that you always have demand you know across the world for it right and as time goes on and as more people do stuff like this the easier it is for you to be able to re repeat it because though Haiti will become known oh you want good mahogany make sure you, you reach out to Haiti right or maybe good sai cedar or uh, there's a bunch of different other props that you can potentially pine even right uh, and so just, just keep in mind the incredible capacity of just a tree. So we've walked around, 
right? And I've shown you a few things on this incredible property. But listen, the most important part is this part right here. Joel August. Yes. How are you, Joel? Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, good it's, it's you. good to be here. Man, I'm telling you, this property is really fantastic. I mean, I, anytime, any reason I'm under you, uh, it makes me happy. It brings a smile to my face. But I'm just, so I'm a little jealous of you that you're, this is, this is your playground. This is what this you This is my your... playground. This is my dream. And this is one of the dreams I would like to see for him. Yeah. What the dream really was about is to produce money with small quantities of money. Right. The, the dream came in agriculture because the earthquake, I met a couple specialists in agriculture that were doing long-term agriculture. Some of them were doing pine and some of them were doing eucalyptus. And then they came to the area and I asked them question how to do. And they told me the first thing to do is to look for trees that existed in the area and, and that you can grow. And from there, the idea came to me that I have to use mahogany because mahogany was in the area. I looked over the internet for the price of mahogany. I realized that a 25-year-old tree is a ton and is worth about between three and five hundred dollars. You can verify it on Google per, anytime. Per, so how per much is tree. That? Per tree. Okay. Twenty-five-year-old tree is worth between three to five hundred dollars okay. because a tree it won't all of them won't be the same size, but they were between three to five hundred dollars. And then I said, okay, this is the way to go. I'm gonna plant mahogany for the future. I started planting mahogany to produce twenty thousand trees a year cost me about four thousand dollars the way to per do year it or per year four thousand per year four thousand okay. per year how many trees is that twenty thousand twenty twenty thousand trees twenty thousand four thousand wow so the way to do it is that you go around you check the seeds of the best trees in the area and then you buy you know those black uh sachet yeah you buy them they sell them for something like uh 28 bucks for for a thousand right and then you give people a job to fill them up with mm -hmm. dirt mm -hmm. near water. You put the seeds in them, in three months, they are ready. The trick is to time them so you plant them with the beginning of the, the rainy, rainy season. season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every year I've been planting it. In this area, I only get nine rains a year. But you see how many trees yeah, we have yeah, they're here. They're solid, they're firm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though I only have 15% survival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I do it six years in a row, yeah. I can have 20,000 trees. Yeah. I could start. 20,000 trees, by the way, is approximately mm -hmm. 40 kawo. Mm -hmm. 40 kawo is 160 acres. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of land that you can plant every year. Now, once you do it, let's say you, you were 35 and you would start it at 60, if you have 20,000 trees at today's price, you have $10 million right there. That's simple math, guys. <laughs> so right? those are already seven. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe my kids will enjoy it more because I'm more than 35. But Maybe 36. <laughs> but, but the thing is, and what's, what's nice about this, it's low maintenance. It's exactly. low maintenance. So you plant it. There is no maintenance. Those and then are you forget trees. about it, in effect. You know? and then the they only take care thing, of I cannot say right. it's low maintenance. Mm -hmm. What we do, the first five years, while we're replanting, because you have that, some that dies and you replant, while we're replanting, what we do is that we cut the branches. So the energy stays in the trunk, the tree grows faster and straighter. Yeah, because but that's, that's easy, just chop. <laughs> it's exactly. very little bit compared exactly. to you know, no, having a fertilizer it is, and it, it the is, whole process. It is no yeah. maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, with time, we have learned a couple things. I would not recommend a single tree. Because with time, I have realized that some insects, when you have one kind of tree, yeah, they yeah, come. Yeah, you so mix, you mix with it. with time, mm -hmm. I will, for example, here I have mahogany, but I'm going to use cedar mm -hmm. and teak in it, which are trees that have the same value, but that have another smell and insects Whoa. that will repel the insects of the acacia. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is... <laughs> 
Joel here is an agronome, right? He's an entrepreneur. He's doing some great things in uh, in Port-au-Prince and, and all over. Valerie Canez, I believe. Yes, is I'm, one, I'm of one of the owners of uh, right, Valerie right. Canez too. And so, so he's just a guy, just like you and I, just looking for opportunity, looking for you know how they can help the country and also how you can you know, make how a buck, the, right? How it's a win-win. How you can create right. money. And create value, really. For me, it's about creating value mm -hmm. and creating money with little money. And the reason I talked to Chris about it and I wanted Chris to visit is that I know that most diasporas have land in Haiti. And they come here every year with four or $5,000 in the pocket to only party. Yes, you can party, but you can take two out of it and invest in your future. If you invest $2,000 a year in trees, whether it be fruit bearing or quality trees, 10, 15, 20 years from now, you have millions of dollars there. Even if it's for not for you, it's for your kids or your family that is on the land. And this will create value and get the country back to where it should be. And plus, you're, you're, you're helping with forestry, with de deforestation. Exactly. I mean, it's a win-win for so many reasons. Exactly. I want to run by that idea one more time. Just make sure if you, if you missed it, you have a bunch of land. Wherever you are, because different parts of the country have different trees that, that exactly. can be more Identify, identify. the, the yeah. tree mm -hmm. that goes well in the area. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a fruit-bearing tree, ouvre les abocas, c'est l'équipe planté dans la zone, planté les abocas. Plus devant, petit ou abjouen kob, ou abjouen kob. Moi, je parle de fruit-bearing trees là, tout là, je parle de long terme, qui n'est pas fruit-bearing, mais any fruit-bearing tree in Haïti, si c'est l'équipe qu'on choisit de planter, quel que soit pied bois, 50 bucks per tree. Now, on caro, capran, depending on what you're using. If you're using gros pied bois, li pran around 320, et soit pu utiliser petit pied bois tant que citron, around 520. That makes it, after six years, any caro te, qui gen fruit bearing trees souli, gives a minimum of 25k a year. So you hear that? So it can repeat it with a lot of different trees so you identify the tree that, that you want to execute and then you plant it you know and then maybe you got you know one guy going around mais qui s'agit un bel couteau le pas couteau en pile quoi bien sûr très souvent son famou qui l'a sous terre à quoi bon quoi bali déjà exactly so they work qui l'a pour surveiller un peu plus and then from there gain l'argent qui a fait ni dans ça ni dans food bearing ni dans le ni dans long terme but you can mix them too yeah. which is important yeah. because long mix you ko pa planter trois quatre trois serré le ça moun nan ka planter short term crop sans bal qui permet li vivre yeah 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 so win win so it's a win win situation and that's the thing and then you plant it and then it's it's you're doing stuff on and that's the thing i want you to understand is that it doesn't take much money as as a no, few a thousand year 2000 year. you know and 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 just like that over 10 years 15 20 years you know you're making money the, your family's benefiting and that's really what the, I wanted to take time to make this episode. So Joel was so kind to invite me to his property to see. And I can tell you, it's, it's, it's really something that I want to encourage the diaspora to do. I think, Joel, you're going to make yourself accessible. We can put your information down. You can put my information. He, he, he's open. He'll I'm respond open to, to you in terms of whatever ideas. To give you ideas, to help you raise money even if you have, if the idea is good and I like it, I will even invest in it. You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> because we believe in Haiti, and the only way to change it is by trees. The only time this country was rich was by agriculture. So we have to go back to it with trees because this is long term. Do you know, I'm gonna give you one example that we can do for this country. We import every year about $80 million of planche. It can be produced right here in Forêt de Pain in a rotation with 10 year old trees. With 10, you can do it. It's a big project yeah. to go and want to replace 100 million or 90 million dollars of import. But we can start doing, but it has to be in certain areas yeah. that are for pine. Mm -hmm. That can be done too. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of Haiti. We have so many elevations and climates, you know. Exactly, you yeah. can do so many mm -hmm. different trees mm -hmm. that do not exist in the mm -hmm. U.S. that we can ship. Mm -hmm. Or, when I say the U.S., all over the world. Over the world. Our, our mango is known, mm -hmm. but there are so many other trees we can do. Citron, myself, I don't like to do for export, personally. 
because I said we have 11 million people there. Saint-Domingue sold to us last year $16 million of coconut. Why can't we produce $16 million of coconut right here and sell it here? You gotta put the people gotta understand that the capacity is there, put the money out, and you'll make it. You'll make it. The <laughs> difference has been that we have left agriculture to poor people. And as a businessman, the first thing I've known is to make money, you need money. Capital injection. The the peasant goes for short term, yeah. short term crops because yeah. he needs fast money. Yeah. You cannot ask a peasant to be planting coconuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He cannot wait for it. Mm -hmm. But his cousin who is in the States can, can, can plant the coconuts, right. pay him, and then be his partner in this plantation for yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. Monsieur, so we have 1,000 pieds of coconuts. 1,000 pieds of coconuts. When we have done these two carotes, we have a peu près 100,000 dollars US dollars. Mille pieds coco, you? Listen, guy. Listen, listen. Don't give him all of it. <laughs> Don't give him all of it just yet. <laughs> listen, the info of Joel is going to be below. I encourage you to reach out to Joel. And by the way, do check out my book too as well, 101 Ways to Make Money in Haiti, a, a guide for visionary entrepreneurs. That's also a bunch of different ideas as well. Do check that out too. Uh, the link's going to be below. Check that out. But listen, Joel, I want to thank you so much again for allowing thank us you, to Chris. be here. Guys, if you like what we've got going on here, mind. hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll be back at it again when we're back at it again. Peace. Peace. <laughs>